Good morning. Thank you for your question about PubMed and how to find articles inside of it. Um, this is Elizabeth in the library, and I hope that this answers your question. PubMed is a great resource, but what happens with PubMed is that it really only gives you abstracts for an article. So when you're searching for an article, that article is going to come up. And right here, there's a link where it says Full Text Link Royal Society of Chemistry which is on the right side of the screen, but also if you scroll below the article, there is a link for link out more resources, and that's gonna take us to the same place. So when we link to this article, right here, it's actually showing me that you have to purchase the article. Um, so it's not a free article, and so when that's the case, there are different things you can do. But before we do that, I wanted to show you that uh, PubMed also has articles that are linking to potentially free things. So here's our second search. Uh, same thing, you can see there's the icons on the right with the full text link. Additionally, there's the link out more resources, which will give you the links to those. So here, uh, I'm not sure if you can see very clearly in the video, but under J stage, it says free. So we click on that link and the article opens up and under J stage there's an option for a full text PDF and that's going to bring you to the article and from here you can download it or print it for free. So there was an article that uh, we were searching for that we couldn't find and so the next option I want to talk to you about is something called Google Scholar. So Google Scholar is a great option and part of the powers of Google Scholar is that if you are signed in, in a Google account, a Gmail account, you can go to Google Scholar, you can click on the settings option, and there's an option here for library links. Oops. So if you click the library links option, it will give you this option where you can choose up to five libraries that you have access to their content. So as a Coastline student, you have access to Coastline. So you would type in Coastline, do a search, and I already have them checked, but right here, this is what comes up. The Coastline Library Find It and the Coastline Library ProQuest. And so Coastline Library has linked to, with Google Scholar to some of our content. So this is a really good way to uh, search Google Scholar and to get some information. So I'm gonna search, <clears throat> excuse me, for the article that we couldn't find. And so here it is in Google Scholar. But as I look at this, I can see that I'm only going to be able to get the abstract because in Google Scholar, it will usually tell you if there's a link for something over here. So I'm also going to click see all results. This is kind of a way to browse for similar topics. And once you've done that, um, you can see right here the second option. It actually says find at the Coastline Library. So that's something that we have. Um, and down here is another one where it has a PDF, which is at another uh, URL. So if these were something you wanted, you can always click on that link. And if you are uh, logged in the Coastline Library, it will take you to the article. Uh, let's see. Here's the article. Here's the full text PDF. And then here, there you go. So speaking of that, let's talk about the options you have. Um, obviously, you can start at PubMed, which is going to give you abstracts. You can potentially find the articles there. If you're not finding there, you can go to Google Scholar, type in the, direct, the exact title of your article and see if you can find it in Google Scholar. And then in Google Scholar, you can browse other topics. Um, but I would be remiss if I didn't tell you about the options to use the Coastline Library. So the Coastline Library has a lot of resources that are available for free to you as a student. Uh, we pay a pretty penny for them, but it's important that you have access to, you know, articles. So that's why we link them to Google Scholar, but you can also search directly at the Coastline Library. And so to do that, you just go to the Coastline Library webpage. The link to the webpage is at the top of every Coastline uh, page where it says online library in the right corner. Once you get to the library, you would click on eBooks and Academic Databases. A user, a page is going to log in. <clears throat> I'm sorry, a MyCC username and password page is going to come up. 
you'll log in with your MyCCC username and password. And then you'll come to a, the page where the databases are organized by topics. And in here, you would pick your topic. And so I would recommend starting in the general academic databases because these are very big collections of databases. And then inside of here, you can choose databases and you can choose to select all of the databases. And then uh, I would recommend specifically for these kinds of search to click the full text link right here so that you make sure that all the articles you get are full text. Uh, the Coastline Library YouTube channel has lots of uh, short videos, two to three minutes, that show you how to search each of these databases. And I hope this is enough to kind of explain Google Scholar, a little bit of PubMed, and to let you know about some of the free resources at the Coastline Library. If you have any problems or need any help, please contact uh, the library and we'll be happy to help you. Good luck with your research.